Hey everybody, I'm JT here with Fun Emotion Toys, and I'm here with Robert Becker, the inventor of Hyper Tiles. And I gotta ask, we all love Hyper Tiles so, so much, and we're, we all want to know, how did you come up with this? Ooh, that's a good story. There was an aha moment that happened, actually, ready for this, back in 1990. Okay. So we're talking, what, almost 35 years ago. But go back even farther than that. The story actually began when I was in college. I took, I was a biology major, you know, but I took a bunch of other courses. I took a course called 3D Design from this amazing professor named Erwin Howard. And he was having us work with sand and, and sticks and all kinds of things. But his expertise was making these amazing sculptures and building elements involving repeating patterns of curved surfaces. And it was great. He just showed us this during one slideshow one day. It was not the emphasis of the past, but I thought, wow. Okay, now fast forward to 1990, I'm playing with my oldest daughter, Jenna. And we're playing with these plastic construction toys that's made of squares and triangles. You snap them together, you can make cubes, you can make little pyramids or whatever. And the aha moment came was by thinking, what if instead of these being flat squares, what if they were curved, curved like this? Not just ball shaped, but kind of bent. This is a hyperbolic way. You can see it's a square and it could connect with other squares. Could you perhaps build sculptures like Erwin Howard did? So I thought, great. So here's what I did. This is back in 1990. There was no 3D printer anyway. How do I make a prototype? So I took that kind of material used for making a cast that air dries. Yeah. And I took that and stretched it like this, let it harden. Clip it down, use duct tape to connect them. I made about 20 of those. I just connected them edge to edge, and the very first structure I made was like this. I took an old video of it with a VHS recorder, and it was all just, you know, it wasn't colorful, of course, it was just a bunch of these gray squares, but, and it's just making that alone, I thought, you know what? This is worth it. But that got put on the back burner, and you know, I, I was busy teaching, raising a family. Now, advanced in 2020, my last year of teaching, I decided I'm just gonna go ahead and try this. Got a student to help me with the 3D printing. My favorite was a, another student came up with the idea for the connector. Her idea was, think Lego hands. You see the Lego hand there? Oh, okay. Like the Lego yeah. figures. Boom. Oh. That was a student idea. One student helped me with the 3D printing, another helped me with the connector. So this was certainly something that was in the right place at the right time, being a teacher, high school level teacher. Okay, so I ran a Kickstarter, found a company to help me manufacture them, and then, crowning moment, <laughs> the crowning moment, bingo, was when Fun In Motion Toys contacted me and said, we want to take this to the next level. But there's a backstory. So, you know, I say this from me and Rob, we both can't wait to see what you create.